Hello again, it's been a few days since we did the daily run, but today's an Isaac run. Now, I'm going to have to apologise up front, but I can't stop coughing, it's doing my head in. Uh, bum friend. Okay, maybe I should not have taken my first reroll here. I didn't want to take Golden Teleporter because we're Isaac. The thing about Golden Teleporter, I kind of, yeah, perfect, it's another reroll immediately, um, is, on a daily, I think it can guarantee you a deal with the devil. Because if you use it when you've been to every fucking hell, how many, how many rerolls? If you use it when you've been to every single room, I think it guarantees that you'll teleport to the deal with the devil, uh, which is very strong. Um, and of course, it guarantees you to hit the secret rooms on the way. Um, but I think as Isaac, the D6 is so much more valuable just to. On any Isaac run, the D6 is considerably more valuable. Uh, simply because it gives us the opportunity to tailor our run, to select whether we want something or to whether to re-roll it, I suppose. It is, should be pretty obvious, I shouldn't really need to say it, but, you know, that's what it does. It does give us several opportunities to do said re-roll, which I didn't take. Uh, I picked up Dark Bone going, uh, sorry, I picked up Bone Friend going, uh, Bone Friend is okay. Um, probably could have done a little bit better made some actual use of the uh, rerolls, especially considering, although I didn't load it at the time, there are two battery charges on this floor. So we can reroll this boss item twice. Can you follow me? There we go. I don't want to waste... Hmm. I don't want to waste too much time, but this is one of those semi-tanky bosses, and this stage is probably the most annoying thing ever devised by man. It is possible to sort of stunlock this thing into, the, into position. If you can get it to sort of deflect in the right direction. You can get the knockbacks to go the right way, kind of like this. It doesn't last forever, but it is possible to get a lot of damage done before you have to do an awkward, uh, an awkward dodge. And of course, inevitably, at the very end, you will get hit by said awkward dodge. Actually, this is a very good item. Tears upgrade at this stage of the game makes me wish I'd re-rolled Bumfriend a couple of times more. I guess Bumfriend does have the benefit that it can find... It can go and get uh, the coins that we can't reach. Turn them into consumables that we can reach. That's a very limited benefit. Uh, infinite bombs I will place everywhere. I will search for both secret rooms with a plume and abandon. I'll search for quarters in the quarter chests. I will put bombs down to kill enemies. Put bombs down to kill air enemies. I'll put bomb... Excuse me. Seriously. Son of a bitch did not die from any of that. I think I've <laughs> actually made myself worse off by trying to use all those- oh fuck, all those bombs. I'm trying to kite these spiders, but they're not dying as fast as I'd like them to. Uh, secret room here, secret room here. I do at some point want to go to that cursed room, but we kind of need to not take damage. No, no! Oh, you fucking dick. You took my nickel! Alright, if you're playing this, don't fucking take that dick. Look at him. Son of a bitch. Hematomesis, thanks for- nothing. Dick. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. I suppose we find the item room first. And probably re-roll so we don't have fucking bum friends stealing my nickels. That nickel was going to pay for a spirit heart maybe. From the shop maybe. Uh, that helps. Now I have to not get hit a lot. Even against these motherfuckers. You got past my amazing bomb trap. Yeah, get past that one. Yeah, you didn't, did you? Fuck you. You can still buy a... Ooh. I actually like this item. You can still buy a spirit heart from the shop, provided there is one. There is one. We can even think about maybe coming back to try and buy... Uh, the hive mind here. But we don't have any fly or spider items at this stage. But, you know, you don't play Isaac going, Oh, I'm never going to be guppy. I will give up now. You play Isaac going, You know, I, I want to be guppy. Guppy is best. Guppy is life. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Daddy Longlegs, for trying, but unfortunately, Little Horn outpaced you considerably. Outsmarted by an annoying teleporting hole creating dildo. Fudge you, Tony. Thanks uh, for attacking the thing I, I had in hand. Stamp on the boss. No. That thing controls space extremely well just now, I believe. We did get a deal with the devil, and we did get a thing I want to keep, and we will re-roll... 
Will we? Look, we've had this reroll for ages. We can do better. We can do better. I will take Guppy's tail because it is a Guppy item. What do we do on Isaac Runs? We become Guppy. Come rain or shine. Come hello high water. Come Fred or Astaire. Come Daphne or Celeste. Oh, where are we going to, by the way? We're going to Satan. We'll go in here now because we have done everything that we could have done to secure ourselves safe passage. And there's a guppy item. Cool. That's two of three. We only lost one HP picking that up, which is as much as it would have cost me to get it from the deal with the devil in the first place. Except the deal with the devil gave us a different guppy item, so we are two-thirds of the way to guppy, but we can't afford hive mind, which is a shame. Because this little son of a bitch stole my fucking nickel. So if I had not taken bum friend, which I wish I hadn't taken because I don't really like bum friend. No offense, bum friend, but you know, fuck off. Forty hour is pretty cool. Then I would probably have Hive Mind and a good bet at Guppy, but never mind. We can't win them all. I think there's a chance that Hive Mind will show up again anyway, but we need to press on. Obviously, we're thinking about the two unmentionables, Boss Rush and Hush. I'm not even going to use a bomb to explode that. Uh, I do not like this room. Uh, that'll be why. Yep. Wow, I actually caught that one on the on the uh, on the way through. I'm just gonna go in here because fuck it, and it paid for itself, and that's a lot of that's a big damage penalty. I think we're gonna get ourselves that room really knocked me for six. I didn't know what to do. I've done it before. Very, I suppose I did take a speed downgrade pill, and we have already learned our lesson about taking pills on dailies. But I say learned our lesson. Uh, I have had the lesson. It's, I've tried to learn it. It's been taught to me. I've been shown the mistake of taking pills on a daily run, but I consistently still take pills on a daily run. Usually to my own detriment. I'm going to do it again. Bad trip. See? What is wrong with me? We do have nine lives. Um, so, that's a pretty strong contingency plan. And we are Isaac. So if we don't like an item, which has yet to happen except for the one time when it did happen and I didn't do what I'm about to say I should do, which is to re-roll it, we can re-roll it. Uh, but I didn't. We don't have any keys, which is more more of a problem than it is a blessing. Which is, I suppose, true. A truthism? I can't imagine having too many keys would ever be a problem. Our swag bonus is not going to be out the window, is it? It's not going to be off the charts. It's not going to be... No, set any new world records of swag bonuses. Please let me shoot that thing. It's alright, Daddy Long Legs is sorting me out. Most of the damage I'm doing right now is probably Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> Anything I'm unsure about, I'll just wait for Daddy Long Legs to stomp it. Meanwhile, I'll concentrate on an enemy and all of a sudden it'll die because Daddy Long Legs has stomped it. I will keep the High Priestess and I will go looking for some keys. I don't really want the tower, it just causes lots of explosions that I have to dodge. Which somehow enemies are infinitely more adept at dodging than I am. Okay, we found the boss, but we've not found any uh, any devices that allow ingress. Of course, Guppy's tail causes way more chests to show up. Oh, brilliant, a bomb. I got my bomb back. Thanks. So that kind of necessitates way fewer keys showing up. I was going to kick that bomb in, but then I realised that's a probably a very dangerous thing to do. And now I haven't got any bombs left, so I'm just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way with tears. Blood, sweat and tears, or mostly just tears. Good job. And in this case, uh, a black heart. Please. <laughs> right. Die. Give me a deal with the devil so I can kill myself on it. You did! Not Krampus. Not Krampus, but not... Uh, Okie dokie. Well, I got this. Shoot this, see what we get. I wouldn't mind a key of some description. There are no keys available to me. Uh, I'm upset. Super Bandit is really good. But I'm just going to have to forego this entire floor. Which is a big shame. I... Mm. Keys are going to be rarer, simply because we're getting more chests. And any chest that replaces a key, but requires a key, is, it's kind of like a negative key. So, I think we're going to be have a key deficit. 
apart from the fact we have zero keys, we are going to continue to have zero keys and also things that need keys that have replaced keys. Yeah, you fucking things with your fucking tanky fucking bullshit. And I'm, and I'm Isaac. Look, another one. No bombs, no keys. It may have been not a brilliant idea hmm, to have taken Guppy's tail. I mean, I, I needed the Guppy item. You can't just not take Guppy's tail. It's not an option. Apart from it's an option. But, I mean, literally it's an option. You don't want to actually do it. You know? But, life is full of opportunities to not do things that there is no point in not doing. Like, doing your teeth. There's no point in not doing your teeth. I know I can... There is that, that's true. I still consistently don't do my teeth. It's the same sort of thing. So maybe this is just me making up for not doing my teeth. So what I'm going to do is, in order to make up for not taking a future guppy's tail, I will do my teeth. Just once. Keys, please! I've got enough coins! Jesus Christ, we're here again. We're at the boss. No bombs, no keys. Just a shitload of chests I can't open. Another one! Oh, I will end you. At least we're going kind of quickly. I could use a high priestess to get this. High priestess is basically a one-shot daddy long legs now, I think. Uh, key? No. Maybe we can get an item that drops keys when we beat the boss. Provided we beat the boss. We can still use our, our reroll on the deal with the devil, provided we get deals with the devil that have things to reroll. Uh, it's just as bad. I feel slower. That's the whole floor again. No bombs, no keys. Can't find the secret rooms. Look. <laughs> the game has not been kind to me in terms of consumables so far. It's given me a lot of chests that I can't open, as mentioned. Wow, thank you, Daddy Longless, for exploding a bomb fly in my face. Experimental treatment appears to have improved our DPS, but done nothing for our actual speed, which is okay. And even fucking Bone Friend could be giving me keys if. There were coins I can't reach, but there haven't even been those random rooms with random coins in. Here's the thing. Key. Yeah, key! No. You can't have it. I want that <laughs> I want that thing, but it's on spikes. <laughs> Daddy long legs, sort these fuckers out. That's right. You deal with it so I don't have to. We're in the key game. I think oh shit, we're so fucking slow as well. I think our best bet today in this situation is to try the item room. Because we can re-roll items. So they're valuable. I did take red hot damage, I think. So that's new, but we're very, very slow. So maybe we can re-roll into a speed upgrade. And if a one room or a six room or a D4 shows up, I'm all over that. Give it give it to me. Bring it. I can re-roll lots of nothings that I've picked up. I still keep the credit for picking up the guppy items, so we could re-roll into the guppy transformation. Nope. Nope. I'll take this because why the hell not? No batteries on this floor, of course. I had uh, I squandered my opportunity to re-roll a shitty passive item, and the game is making me pay for it. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Now, do I open? I'll open this shop because we have ten cents, uh, which can give me at least a key and a spirit heart, I suppose. I'll open this thing. I would like to speed up, please. Ooh, there's some bombs. Yeah, you give me something. Perthrow room. Ah, it's a Bacano room. I thought by saying, ooh, a Perthrow room before picking it up, that would cause it, to, it sort of force it to have to be a Perthrow room. I suppose Perthrow isn't what we want, maybe Yarrow room or something, don't we? Uh, we? We'll go in here. There's two chests. Probably worthwhile. That one was very worthwhile. The other one, not so much because we can't actually open it now, I realise. Where are we? Next one? Yeah. Well, uh, I've done a lot of this floor. We could backtrack. Or we could just definitely make it to a boss rush. Although we haven't really picked up a damage upgrade unless experimental treatment counts in, in your estimations. It doesn't count in my estimation. Because it's an unknown amount of a damage upgrade and it's still not actually helping. <laughs> Make sense? Oh, this is very slippery. I didn't realise that that stuff was slippery. That's actually quite gross. We've got the pentagram, which is a damage upgrade. And a deal with the devil opportunity increase. Please don't do the spinny thing from over there. And Krampus can give us either a lump of coal or something we can reroll. Because we can reroll just in time. 
I will take it. Uh, the thing is with this reroll game right now is half the stuff I want to take, but also I feel like I should. Oh, Jesus Christ. Reroll it. Half the stuff I want to reroll, but I feel like I should take it. We've got a reroll for this item room, so I'm going to come back here. How slow can a character be? The shears I will keep. <laughs> Which is now is a great time for a perth for everyone because we can re-roll the d6. Uh, basically, this run is not good enough. Oh Jesus! Can't even do that. This run is not good enough. So, I'm replacing the d6 with the shears, which will basically make us unbeatable for the rooms that we use the shears on. I'm thinking boss rush. Uh, I'm going to get out of here because it's going to take me at least 30 seconds to backtrack all the way there and try and fill in a gap with some thrilling commentary about my day. Hey, I've been coughing all day long and I went home from work early because I couldn't stop coughing and I wanted to go to bed because I couldn't go to sleep last night because I kept coughing all night long. How was your day? Lovely weather we're having. No, it keeps raining. How's the allotment? Oh, it's getting on all right, but I wish it was not so cold. That particular patch that was we left to frost over has actually come really... Now to the next floor. Thank you for filling in the time with me. We have the shears. Do we have the secret room? Yes. A button. Some enemies. <laughs> At least Daddy Longlegs gets some exercise, but that's not really very helpful to me at this stage of the game. Oh, fuck. I always do that. I never learn about this room. It's a trap. I might feel like I'm firing a little bit faster than I was. Maybe I've just uh, really been paying too much attention to what's actually happening on the screen, which is basically how I play this game. Seems to have served me well sometimes and not too well the rest of the time, so it's it's what I call hit and miss. I won't call it so much of a strategy, that's for sure. Strategies tend to imply sort of motion towards um, motion towards the goal. This is just the goal is to stay alive for as many rooms as possible. And then complain about oh Jesus, look at the size of that thing. And complain about the score we get even though we didn't really put too much effort into getting a good score. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs, for actually beating the shit out of that thing that I had no hope of dealing with. Oh, it did hit me. At least that finished the room to the tune of another golden chest, so thanks very much. Oh god, this is going to be difficult to avoid. We did it. And this will turn it off. Oh, coin. No! <laughs> I should probably just let him have it, because it's the only way I'm going to get any consumables, I think. Bloody bum friend is probably the only thing that's going to pay out with things that aren't chests. That was exactly the same time as the game paid out with something that was a bomb, which is not a chest. I'm kind of not using um, the shears, because normally too good to use syndrome is an actual syndrome, but I think in this situation, I keep rubbing my beard like fucking guy with three foot. Um, in this situation, I really want it to be available for boss rush, which is basically here. I'd also like to be able to get some freaking keys. It's not going to be there. We've got so much time though, we can explore this floor a little bit more properly. More better. Pardon the uh, use of terrible, terrible grammar there. I'll just put this here. How about you, you chew on that? Yeah, there you go. Chew on this. You're not supposed to stop, you're supposed to just keep walking into it. Cool, a chest I can open. It's got fuck all in it. Bloody brilliant. Marvellous. So glad to be here. What a wonderful life. Nothing there. Found that secret room. It wasn't unfortunate. Ooh, we can get to the boss trap room though. Maybe we should try that. Worthwhile? We can't do shit! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Super Lust is already dead. I don't really care for that, but we have got a key! <gasps> now, that key could kickstart a chain reaction in the boss trap room, or it could be swallowed immediately, so I'm probably not going to invest it in any chests. And I'm going to invest it in the item. Oh, it's difficult. We don't have a D6 anymore, because I've invested in the future. Because the shears are going to be great against Hush as well, because once you've got the shears out, you just dodge. Just focus on dodging. You're sorted. So the item room's on the way back, so we'll do that. Um, in a minute, we'll be in the mom fight, and 
hopefully less than a minute after that we'll have beaten the mom fight. And we've got money equals power, which could turn out to be amazing, but we're going to have to get some actual cash, and bum friend's going to have to stop eating it. Or we should explode these just to see what we get. The justice yes. card is decent. There's some more money. That's a tiny damage upgrade. And a I'm not going to use... I'm going to do this, basically. I, I still don't want to open the boss trap room, because it will take us so long to beat it, and we can't recharge our item uh, in time for boss rush. And we're going to keep the item open until boss rush is on. Open, you know, available. Charged. Until... Ah, fuck. That was very dumb. We've got lots of bombs. We should probably be using them. That's nice. Very valuable. Also, there's no point trying to get that right now. You know, it's, it's going to be there at the end. Just go with it. Leave it. Dodging out a mom's foot's way is probably one of the hardest things you ever learn to do on this game. I guess we'll go Polaroid, because why not? And we did win Boss Rush, so that's good. What do we get? We've also got infinite bombs for Boss Rush, which is cool. Isaac's heart, that sounds bullshit, doesn't it? We've got Bloody Lust. We've got GB Bug. These are so shit. <laughs> like, if you kept hold of um, the D6, this would be great. If I pop this, can I actually fly now? I can! <gasps> it's amazing! Okay, I love that. I'm absolutely a fan of that. Right, you deal with that, and I'll deal with this. We'll uh, share the responsibility for this boss rush, shall we, Shears? Alright, now you just deal with this. We've also got Daddy Longlegs, so you mustn't forget that. Oh, fuck me. How far out of the way did I have to dodge and still get hit just now? So Shears is going to wail away on enemies just to help out. And every now and then, Daddy Longlegs is going to stomp on one of them to help out. And somewhere in between all that, I'm going to present myself with a meager amount of damage. Of course, we, we can chop our heads off multiple times. Uh, I'd forgotten about this, but I'm super glad that it's an option to me. Every three waves, I get to chop my head off again. I walked through that, I saw it happening, and I walked through it anyway. We have infinite bombs, so we should get rid of some of these rocks, I think. Seems like a good idea. What's uh, what's our shears doing? If I put this here and avoid its shots, it should kill Larry Jr., but we're so fucking slow that I couldn't actually avoid its shots. So that would work out quite so well as I'd have liked it to. Three shears is, should basically kill everything very quickly. Yeah, look at that, look how fast that... HP went down. It's not the tankiest of uh, of gurglings. Nope. The other one. Heaps. Nope. Fuck me, brain. It's only just happened. What was it called? Dingles. It's not the championist of Dingles. We did get bloody lust, of course. Uh, so every time we get hit, we do do a little more of our own hurt. Do do. Do a little bit more of our own damage. We still have nine lives. And three shears. And. That just happened, man. Don't, don't even talk to me about it. Four shears. We've got a gurdy. And a pin. It's an actual pin this time, not the stupid pin, which isn't pin. But it does brimstone attacks and hurts me. We're doing alright here. And we do have to make hush as well. Now, the thing about hush, of course, is you don't get the benefit of multiple shearses. So it will not go as fast as this. So we'll probably bring up the allotment again. Maybe breakfast. Bacon and eggs, that sort of thing. Black pudding. We've got black pudding in the fridge. Come on. Fine, whatever. Now I've got another one. And between now and uh, the hush fight, we're well within our rights. It's well within our ability to use the shears as much as possible. And I think we should do. Fuck me, how many times are you going to get hit? It's all these uh, shots that I should be aware of. But just sort of I, th I think I'm faster than I am, because every single run ever made in this game is faster than this right now. Uh, except for this particular one. Okay. <laughs> I put a bomb there, you may have noticed, just to try and uh, beat, beat the uh, Carrion Queen there, but it was of no moment. Since every single run I've ever done has been faster than this shit, I kind of assume I can get past these bullets, when I clearly can't. And rune Bag is amazing. Could do us, it could do really well for us, the rune bag here. So I am happy to have received it. And I have got a new eternal heart, which will be torn into a red heart. So we'll have 4 HP, which is a good amount. And the occasional opportunity to use the shears. And as we do get hit, which is inevitable, inevitable, um, 
we will start doing more damage thanks to Bloody Lust, which is really the only thing on that entire uh, boss rush that I cared for. I'm going to avoid uh, picking up that battery because we can use it to not worry about whether we need to save the um, shears for the boss, basically. As long as this battery is knocking around, we can use shears basically willy-nilly. I'm also kind of looking for tinted rocks. They're often, they're very very difficult to see on the on the womb on womb two. Oh shit! <laughs> Just stop firing and hope for the best. That seems to have worked. The question is, do we go into here? The cano could give us our third guppy item. If we do this, answers. Well, that kind of helps. At least it finds us a second secret room. Uh, we can just recharge this, so I thought, why not? Huh? In fact, why don't we go and do the mob trap room? Hope some HP drops so that we can do the mob trap room. It will be a boss trap room. There is HP right there. Uh, but at least it's chests we can open, so, you know, put it on the fucking calendar. That's a lot of swag as well. Let's do this. We we'll use our uh, shears here. We can get our charge back on the way home. And the shears will just rinse this room for us, so we don't have to worry about... <laughs> the fact that we're so slow. Oh, look, I'm Loki. Yes. It's always Loki down here. Now that the shears have aggroed, I think the shears will follow Loki around the room. But it was of no moment. Uh, we can't fly. There's a certain cognitive bias to assume that as soon as you can fly on a single room, you can fly on the rest of the run. It's not true. Don't fall for it. Big room. Big room is big. And I'm not sure I should have used this right here. I know there's enough rooms to recharge it naturally, but it occurs to me that I have actually used up both of my uh, both of my item rerolls. My reroll drops the battery charges. I'm hoping the shears are actually doing some damage here. I hate these things on big rooms because you have to go searching for them, and then you you walk into their area of view, and then suddenly they're attacking you, and you don't know where they are. It's like, excuse me, how come you can see further than I can? Call bullshit. I just uh, unlocked the keeper on my on my personal file, which is a uh, just a list of all things that I know that I keep for myself. No, my my, uh, my other playthrough finally unlocked the keeper, where you put a thousand coins into the greed machine. Struth, who wants to play for that long? Me. Um, we have got four keys, which is not enough keys for the hush lobby. Oh, thanks. So, I beat Greed Mode on my first go-through, so I kind of feel like I am that powerful, but I am not that powerful. But the nice thing about Isaac, as opposed to the Keeper, is that he can actually take Spirit Hearts. The Keeper, they just turn into flies, which is fine, I know, to each their own, but... Oh, we need to get a press on, but I'm trying to recharge this, uh... I'm trying to recharge my item. I'm just going to have to hope that... Well, we could use the, the High Priestess if we don't get a recharge, but I'm assuming that this thin room between us and the boss is going to be combat, so that we have to shoot something and therefore get the charge back. But if it's not, it's not. I'm not backtracking any further. We've got to actually make it to Hush. Oh, Jesus. There's no plus. There's no. Okay, good. Thank you. Probably be leaving those for um, Dumb Friend. I think the swag bonus is important, but also actually having keys is important. It'd be nice to sort of sell my coins for keys, which is, I suppose is how the shop works, but you have to use a key to do that, so it's kind of not worthwhile. There's a there's another back guard. Right, let's try and get through this floor ASAP. Have a, a quick shifty for tinted rocks, though. Yeah, not seeing any. There's certain patterns you can look for, because they're not going to be connected to other rocks, so any rocks that are part of a, of a shared lump of rockage. I ain't going to be no secret. That ain't going to be no tempted to drop. Come on. Doing a decent amount of damage for saying we haven't been hit on this floor, and therefore we don't have our... Um, we don't have our bloody lust bonus. Whoa, speaking of lust, leave me alone. You son of a bitch. Might have to use this. Fuck it. This, these lusts are so fast and we're so slow not having picked up a speed upgrade of any description. I'd rather not tempt the opportunity to you know, take any... Oh, fucking yay. Uh, any red heart damage. It'd be great to be able to get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor. I'm not sure how great. I'm hoping that it will 
sort of steam kickstart some sort of steamrollering of damage. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Buttons. Ah, uh, jinkies. Yeah, we should be leaving that for you. I don't want that. Leaving. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Longlegs was still playing in the next room. Look, that's not how it works, man. It helps appreciated, but not that much. Do with any sort of stats upgrade, really. We've got plenty of HP, but I don't want to use it because it's going to compromise the deal with the devil if we get hit at the moment. Oh, jinkies. There we go. That's, that's one of those things there's just no way of avoiding, so... Hagalaz. Hagalaz, thanks. Uh, where the hell's the boss and how, the, how do I get there in time? I can't walk fast enough. Help. Minute and a half to find it and beat it. We've got the, um... Oh, there is a Tinterrock right here. Thanks for everyone for saying that in the comments. I got around to it eventually. Uh... I've got the shears available. Oh, please let me re-roll this run. I'm happy to not do hush at this stage of the game. Oh god, why? What is happening? Haha, oh, I made it. <gasps> Breathe, it's fine. Oh, shit me, how long is this floor? Oh, I got hit. Didn't want to get hit, but I did get hit. Luckily it was a spirit heart. Unluckily it was my only spirit heart, so... Oh, no, that, that was another hit. I am completely misunderestimating how wide these enemies are, and how far they shoot. I guess I'm overestimating how far they shoot. No, I'm underestimating. I keep assuming that they're not going to reach me, but I'm entirely wrong on that regard. There we go. And I got hit again, which is very stupid. Trying to get hit a millionth time. It's probably another one of those. We may make it in time. Oh, I'll go back. No, we won't go back for that. We'll just beat this. Right, don't die. Because you're going to be doing it nine times if you die. <laughs> oh, God. This isn't a hush capable run. Please aggro the fucking thing. There we go. Right, which bit is me? Okay, good. Like this. I mean, now that it's open, I think it stays open. That was an AWAS room. Yeah. <sighs> that was perfectly timed, so it's at least a half an hour run. Thank you for staying. Oh, jinkies. Right. I don't have a battery charge. So we might have to buy one. There isn't. There is one. So we'll buy one. <laughs> we'll buy this. We'll buy this. We'll go into these. This is good. This is good. Do you want to open a chest or go to the ice room? I think... Oh, I don't know. Chest. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was the worst chest to open. Go fuck yourself, game. Right. The only host capable part of this run is this thing. Just, excuse me? Just gonna sit there and do damage while I avoid all these shots. I can't reach that far. Daddy long legs, sick him. You aggro that. You ag aggro it. Aggro it. Aggro. Thank you. Right, you aggro that and just sit there. I'm going to avoid all these shots and occasionally try and do some damage. And then in about five to ten minutes, we'll either have died nine times, or we'll be done. Because if we die on this run, this this attempt, I've invested everything that I've got. There's no more battery charges. I'll have one HP. Don't de-aggro just because he's hiding underground. Jeez. Coward. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. We'll have one HP. I'll use the High Priestess as well, so how all in I am. So we won't be able to get hit at all, and we won't be able to use the Shears to assist. So we'll be fucked, basically. It'll just be an exercise in... How... Quickly do I give up. <laughs> so we just have to not die. It's as simple as that. We did take the Polaroid, so we will have a period of permanent Polaroid invincibility. If it gets to the stage where we have to deal with that that nonsense. Help. No. Just, just stay here. Are you still aggroing? Where's my shields? 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 Where's my ability to speak England? Where are my shears at? Where's my body? 
just following me. Get back here. There we go. I'll stay here. No, I won't. Ah, I hate this. It's fine all very well and good saying you can stand in the corner and be safe. As long as you can get to the fucking corner, that's great. Oh, shit. I've actually been hit three times. That was not in the plan. Not in any of the plans, actually. I uh, don't think I'm going to get anything from these. They're just going to be annoyingly following me around, shooting at me. Like that, yes. Hmm, oh god. I died. That's it. <laughs> There's going to be eight more of those. I, I'm going to give it a bit of a go, but honestly, <laughs> this is a lost cause. It was so difficult to dodge those shots. All, all those continuum shots were just coming right for me. I mean, the, the pattern of them was they overlapped in such a way that I couldn't figure out how to get out of the place I found myself to be safe in one set of continuum shots and into the place it's going to be safe for the next set of continuum shots and now I've got to do it all over again with no help. Well, I've got Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs, you damn man. Look, we've done some damage to him. We just need to keep this up for about 15 to 18 years. Actually, dodging these shots is non-trivial, to say the least. And any hit is the end of the life, so we've got eight attempts. We have to start from the beginning on each attempt. So, after a few attempts, I might just start walking into sharp things and giving up. Uh, because it's going to get boring for me as well as for you. And I'm going to have to start talking about the allotment again. And no one really cares, apart from Pete, who doesn't watch because he's a jeb end. Uh, Fuck! So fucking slow. It is doing my absolute head in. My absolute head. Not just my genuine normal bonus head, the absolute 100% head. Fucking dick. Didn't even get the uh, nun's habit, so I haven't been recharging my shears. What? What? I'm talking, I'm not dodging. Blue Baby, at least have some respect for the fact that some of us are trying to do this for YouTube on a Let's Play. Uh, so if you could... Look. What? <laughs> at least these ones are quick. I'm not even doing this on purpose. But I am currently quite aware of the fact that every single time we do do this, I get a little bit more... I get a little bit more damage because I am being hit and we picked up bloody lust from Boss Rush. I'm expecting to rank very badly, and I'm expecting that anybody who re-rolled fucking bum fucking friend, like they were supposed to because there were two battery charges on that floor, has probably got something amazing that you can't live without, like 2020 triple shot, fucking a million lives, guppy, I don't know. Holy mantle. No. Look. I've run out of patience. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk into this son of a bitch four times in a row. And then we'll see how badly we ranked because there's no point spending all the time because this is going to happen anyway. Uh, I have decided that I am incapable of beating this fight without getting hit. And that's because I took a speed down grey pill and the game gave me nothing to make up for it. This is our last life. I know it's hush. Okay. Oh, where did we rank? 3200th. I don't give a shit. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go and just delete the video. No, I'll be fine. It'll be okay. Next time we do an Isaac run, we will use our rerolls properly. But until then, I will see you then.